When we scan the gallbladder, we'll use the abdominal or curvilinear probe. Now, often people will say when you scan the gallbladder that it should be with the patient fasting, but in reality, patients will come to be seen whether they've eaten or they haven't eaten. After the patient eats, particularly a fatty meal, the gallbladder will contract down and it gets more difficult to see. When you want to find the gallbladder, position your probe over the middle of the abdomen. You can slide back and forth underneath the ribs to find the gallbladder. Now here you'll see the aorta. We have a picture of the common of the um, portal vein and the gallbladder coming down from above. And you can slide back and forth until you get a nice longitudinal view of the gallbladder. And here you see not only the gallbladder, but you see the portal vein underneath it. If you look carefully, you can also see the common bile duct. Now, because we want to see all images in quadrilateral planes, we will flip the probe 90 degrees and look at it also in a different plane. Now, if you're having trouble imaging the gallbladder, you can have the patient roll in a left lateral decubitus as he is, or you can have him take a deep breath, go ahead and take a deep breath and hold it, which pushes the gallbladder down toward the probe. If you're having trouble finding the gallbladder, scan until you find the portal vein, and then the gallbladder is just above the portal vein. And also, if you're having trouble finding the gallbladder, you can roll the patient more in a left lateral decubitus position, which gets much of the gas out of the way, and you can have him take a deep breath and hold it. Go ahead and take a deep breath and hold, deep breath and hold, which pushes the gallbladder down toward your probe. 